Welcome everyone, I'm Donny and this will be my AC Milan playthrough in Football Manager 2020. I'm pretty excited about this. I haven't played Football Manager in a while, so I might be a bit rusty, but uh, I picked my favorite team, AC Milan. We'll try to get them to, to actually win something, because it has been years since Milan won uh, even a small cup. Uh, we don't have a, an amazing team. I mean, the quality of players has declined through the years. But uh, we'll try to make do with all with uh, what we have because the transfer budget for uh, for the first season is just twenty million dollars, and uh, it's not too much. I'm a, I'm gonna switch that to to euros. I'm more, I'm more comfortable in, uh, in Euros. I've been playing the game like that for uh, for what I can remember. Okay, I was saying uh, the manager name is Donny Gaming. I'm Albanian, of course. Uh, I'm not going to do tactics induction. I think the club vision for uh, for five years, the new thing, the club vision expectation. The new thing thing added to to the new football manager. <clears throat> so basically, it uh, gives a projection on what the board expects during the five years. Uh, for this current season, we just need to qualify for the Euro Cup. So basically, end in the top six, which with the team we have, it's it's pretty achievable. It's not that hard. The transfer window. Right now it's De Ligt went to, to Juventus. They're called Zebra here. Uh, weird to me that uh, they couldn't pick up the rights. Uh, João Cancelo went from uh, from Juventus to Manchester City and Lukaku to Inter. Not going to take any inductions, I'm pretty familiar with everything with with, uh, with everything. I uh, just want to see my uh, my current squad. Okay. Uh, the tactic I will be using is the four-three-three with the defensive midfielder. I was because Paqueda is actually a very good advanced forward. I was thinking about doing something like this with an irregular shape. We'll try something like that later, but uh, for now the 4-3-3 is uh, in uh, not Tiki Taka. Sorry, I just want control possession. I want the players to keep the ball at all times. And uh, actually, I'm going to add another one, just a, a counter attacking one. A direct counter attack. Still with a 4 3 3. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tinker with this uh, later and show you guys uh, the results. However, this is our team. Our uh, our best player is actually Piatek, our forward. He plays as a poacher. Uh, in real life, he's not doing amazing. But football manager is not real life. Uh, Lucas Bile is our best defensive midfielder. Uh, Cassie is going to play as a box box midfielder. Cassie is a player I actually really like in this game. He has amazing work rate and teamwork and off the ball and as a box to box midfielder you can just set him there and he will just grow. You can keep him in the squad till he's 30, 31. He becomes a really amazing player. Suzo is the best inside forward in the team. Uh, he is actually really good for Serie A. Uh, if we're aiming for Champions League and stuff, uh, we will have to pick a replacement. 
uh, for defensive midfielder, I was saying Bilia. Uh, we are going to need uh, another player here because Bilia is like 33 years old now. He's not going to play for for much longer for us. And uh, as for an uh, advanced playmaker here, uh, Lucas Paqueta would be the player that I pick for the role, just because he's really young and he can grow still. Uh, Hakan Talanoglu would be a second option. He could do this as well really well. He can also play as an inside forward here. However, I wanted to bring a player for, for this position. Plus, we have uh, Ante Rebic, who is a really good inside forward. Uh, maybe Chalna will play in and off uh, the team. Uh, as for defensive, we have Romagnoli, a good ball playing defender. Uh, we have Musacchio and Caldara. Caldara is. Uh, <coughs> I would pick him instead of Musacchio, uh, just because he he is a real central defender. Mozakio tends to, to keep the ball a while longer, and I play with only one ball playing defender. Uh, Conte and Calabria are pretty much uh, the same. I prefer Calabria because uh, he can play uh, the wing back position uh, a little bit better than Conte, and he's a bit younger, so he can still grow. And here I prefer uh, Teo Hernandez. Who is doing amazingly in uh, real life as well. Uh, however, this is just the team we have right now. Uh, I'm going to to add some stuff to the team because uh, we have room for uh, for one more data analyst. We don't have a loan manager or a chief data analyst. I'm going to be removing some scouts because. Uh, Not the coach, mental attributes. Okay, so judging player potential, we have scouts that uh, don't really have very very good stats, so we can we can remove some of them. I'm guessing, we'll see. Uh, as well as uh, we need a head physio, we need to remove some physio and head uh, and and add some sports scientists to the team. Uh, this is something I do in. Uh, every start of a football manager game i review my my whole stuff and see if i can uh, sign some some better coaches on or some better physios or scouts for uh, coach assignments we have i think we can add some more coaches here We definitely need a better coach uh, in in possession. We need, yeah, we need to let some of them go. Look at Ellie for, for example. He's just a three-star coach. I think we can do better. Okay, I'll try to go through the transfers, uh, through the adding of the coaches. I'm going to bring you guys back before the first game starts, so I can explain everything that has happened, and uh, we'll just try to do the first uh, first game of the season together, which is next match. Not the friendlies. Is against Lecce away for the Serie A. Okay, see you guys in a second. Hello and welcome back. We're ready for our first game against Lecce starting today. Uh, let me give you guys an overview on all the transfers that happened for the past two months. Basically, we signed for, uh, Alessio Riccardi from Roma for uh, basically 15 million current transfer budget cost, but uh, uh, the potential value would be 27 million. He seems like a very good good player. I've been signing mostly uh, young, uh, good prospects for the first team because we don't have a lot of money. And we either can sign transfer listed players uh, 
that could be good for one or two years until we get to the Champions League and start earning some money. Or we can sign some hot prospects and try to make it with the team that we have until they, they grow up. But yeah, Ricardi could be a very good player for us. He plays as the advanced playmaker. Uh, currently I have only Paqueta, who can, uh, who can do his position very well. And uh, yeah, I wanted to, s and Krunic as well, but I wanted to sign a player for the, for the future. We also signed uh, Paulinho. We got him from uh, from Bayern for uh, 15 million, actually. He could be a very, very good player for us. He's a left winger and side forward, which fits, which fits really well with my plans. Currently, I have uh, Chalanoglu. And uh, Rebic can also play this position, but... Uh, I'm not a fan of him. I'll be using him mostly as an advance forward when uh, Pia if Piarek gets an injury of, or if uh, if I need to rotate the team. Uh, I'm trying to get an offer for Conti because I already have Calabria who is very good in this position and we don't need a lot of rotation on the team because uh, we, we play only on Serie A, on the league. We don't actually play on, uh, on any cups. So this team could be... We don't need a very large and rotating team. So for the transfers, I got only Paulinho, uh, Riccardi, and I also got on a free transfer. Let me see if I can find him. Nicolo Armini. I actually got him from uh, from Lazio. Uh, he's a youth prospect. They didn't give him a professional contract, so I just approached to sign him. He has the potential to be a very good defender. I'm actually gonna move him to the first team and try to to give him some time on the pitch. So yeah. That's it for our transfers. Uh, let's move on to the game. Let's see if we can win against Lecce. We start off with, uh, with some positivity if we win. But uh, I would have liked to have some more transfer budget uh, to bring in some 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 firepower in the in the attack. Piatek doesn't convince me very much. He's got good finishing. And he's got good attributes. Uh, but I've seen him not do very well. Let's see. Uh, most of the team is... Uh, we've got Calabre injured. So Conti needs to come in his place. Calora is injured as well. So sub -Mazakio. We need to put Rodriguez. He's not very much fit, uh, but we don't have any other left left back. Romagnoli can play that position, but I don't trust him very much on that. He he needs to be our, our stable in defense. Rodriguez and Chalanoglu seem to work very well together. That's a good thing. I have Kessie as a box-to-box -box midfielder. Uh, Benasser. I have to do to keep Banasar instead of Bilia, just because he's a bit younger. Maybe he can grow a little bit more. But uh, I'll try to bring in another another player instead of for, for next year for this position because I think it's very important. Uh, Paqueta will be our advanced playmaker in attack. He'll try to, to move in and score some goals. Perek, Suzu on the right wing as an inside forward. Some more Kodora and put Nicolo Armini. Should be set. Let's go to our first match of the season. Do this for our fans. Kick off. This feels a little bit slow to me. I haven't messed up with uh, this 
écouter ces toutes pensées. Okay, this, this could be very unlucky for us. Too good. Get the ball. Come on, Cassie, don't get another yellow card. Nice. Donnarumma gets it. I'm kind of nervous. I really want to win this first game. Conte heads it to Suzo. Come on, Suzo. Dribbling on the right side. Conte. Come on, Cassie. Cassie. Goals. Could have been such a good goal. Cassie is a really, really good player. I think he's gonna stay in the team for a while. He's a really good midfielder. Very high work rate. Some sounds here. Okay, this this is a bit better. Suzo again. Our right side is doing actually pretty well. Again, lucky. Gabriel used to be an AC Milan player. It's a Brazilian cool. Still on the right side, though. Rodriguez. Close. Really close. I'm lucky. Come on, guys. Show some more passion. Need a gold. We actually have all the possession. We should be scoring now. A little Benazar. Kessie again. Still on the right side, Conti, Akan. He should have scored that. Don't, don't concede now. Nice, Tomeuma. Best goalkeeper in the game. Well, in a couple of years. <laughs> As I said before, I didn't do much uh, movement in the transfer market. I think the team we have right now will be is good enough to get in the Champions League. But we, we'll see if we can do that. Rodriguez. Come on, Rodriguez. Who throws it there? He had to go it there. We have 4 shots on target, but 12 shots in total. I need to check the tactic if we're using uh, Lord Paul in box. Yeah, we do have that. Hmm. Okay, we were just being unlucky. Do this for the fans, guys. They really need to win. This team has been doing really bad recently. Come on, Rodriguez. Cross it in. I actually didn't have, had a chance to show you guys the movement in the staff department that I did. I basically just uh, cancelled the contract of all my coaching staff and brought in some new guys. Oh, 
we need to score. If you haven't scored by 60th minute, we'll, I, I'll change something. Hakan is not playing, playing very well. Susan either. We need to substitute him. Come on, Susan. Close. We're really being unlucky right now. Come on, Conti. Again. Old Rodriguez. Cross it. Nice. Can see. Conti again. I'm a bit disappointed. Okay. Why didn't he pass it there? So annoying. Okay. Distributed defenders. Yep. Suzu. Okay. Kessi. Kita is not actually getting involved in the game very much. We need to score. I need to, to substitute uh, Hakan. Put in Rebic. And actually I'm gonna substitute uh, Paqueta for Bonaventura. Because Paqueta is not doing very well. And that's it for now. Cross from Rodriguez, Masakyo, Kessi, lucky again, we really need to score, I'm gonna switch to my other tactic, and actually substitute uh, Benazir for Bilia, Bilia is a bit more defensive, and I want him to stay in front of the midfield and just Cross the ball forward. Where are they being unlucky? Should have scored by now. With so many shots. The attack. Cross it in. Rebic. What a goal. Amazing. Maybe I'm changing my mind about Rebic. Maybe I'll keep him in instead of uh, Chalamogu. What a goal. Really nice to run. Derek crosses it. Rebic. Volley. I'm going to remove Piatek actually. Put Rebic. I don't have any more substitutions. Wanted to put Paulinho. Give him some time. A 1 0 victory. It's not very nice. It's still a victory though. I'll take it. Of course, we haven't won yet, but. Nice to go. Okay, hold on. We won our first game. It's actually, actually something. Yeah, you're poor out there. And I want 
to show you the stuff changes. I actually brought in the chief data analyst, which is uh, Enrico Iodice. Not very good, but it will do. I brought in the alone manager. It's actually in something new they added in uh, to in this new football manager. Uh, basically, this guy finds uh, teams for players who have set up on loan and uh, manages their growth. I brought in a lot of uh, coaches. Actually, I'm just going to show you the training assignment assignments. It's everything four stars or higher. I mean, close to five stars uh, with some. I brought in. Uh, Marco Landucci as the assistant coach as a guy we had before uh, was not very good he didn't have any player ability or player potential judging really low stats there so I bring this guy good mental good tactical good determination which is very important uh, good discipline good management uh, all in all I'm very satisfied with him uh, so yeah this is the first episode we won against Lecce we did the transfer window and uh, I'm going to see you guys in the second I'm probably gonna uh, show you the match against Lazio at home and uh, play these three matches off camera I want to, to show only the important matches here uh, so yeah that's it uh, thanks for watching please leave a like and subscribe it would really help me a lot I'm trying to, to start a new thing and uh, some support would be very nice. Thanks again. Bye.